In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to add methods, uh, use methods in our program to sort of break up our code a bit. So I'm going to start off by adding a new object. So I'll go over to here, go over to the vehicles group, and I'll get the Humvee of it, object. Drag that onto the screen. And I'll just control and then the button, press that to move it around. So I might just move it that way. And what I'm going to do here, and let's just move this back over to the left a bit. Close that. And I want to develop a method to move the Humvee van. So what I actually want to do is get it to move the wheels, spin the wheels at the same time that it's actually moving. So rather than sort of writing all this code in, in the, the main method, which I could do, I'm going to create a new method. So I click on the Humvee object over here and click on the Create New Method button. And I'm going to call it drive forward and click OK. And now I'm in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the do together and the move command. And I want to move it to move it forward. And for now I'll just put in five meters, but I'm going to show later how we can change that using a parameter. And I also want to then, as I said, spin the wheels or turn the wheels. So I need to expand on the Humvee object and click on the front wheel. And in this case, I want to turn the front wheel. So we'll drag that across there and we'll turn it forward. And let's say two revolutions. Again, we'll hardwire in that number for now, but we'll see how we can change that to sort of tailor it to a particular program. So I'm going to copy that. Make four copies of that, one for each of the wheels. Make copy, and we're going to go in and change all of these. So change that one to the left wheel, to the back right wheel, and we've got the front left wheel. Okay, so now we go back into the My World main method, and we're going to then call, go back to the Humvee object and drag this drive method into there. And if we now look at playing that, we can see that the Humvee drives forward whilst turning its wheels. So replay that. You can just see the wheels turning a little bit. So there's a couple of things I want to improve here. So the first thing I want to do is actually be able to vary the distance I can drive forward. So I'll go back into the drive forward method and I'll create a new parameter. And I'll call it distance, so that's representing how far I want to actually drive forward. And we look at here, we've got the name distance, and with the types, we choose a number of different types here. In this case, we just want to choose a number. So I can press OK. And what we can do then is drag this parameter across into here where we've got the distance we're moving forward. So instead of 5, we'll move forward that distance. So going back into my first world, you'll see that our drive forward method call has now got distance and it's got a default value equal to 1. So I can go in and change that. I'll press on other. And let's say we'll drive forward 5. And let's press play again. So let's drive forward 5 metres. And I can also copy that. Make a copy. Oops. Not quite sure what's going on there. I'll see if we can try that again. Maybe not. Okay, let's just drag this one across here instead then. And other, and let's get it to then move forward 8 metres. Play that. So it goes a 5, and then it goes a further 8 metres. Right, let's go back to our drive forward method. Now, one of the things we can improve here is the actual, uh, the amount that the wheel is rotating. So we can actually use a bit of mathematics here to to have a more ca accurate uh, amount of revolutions. So really, if we look at the wheel, the amount that the wheel is spinning should correspond to how far it's going. And we can use the mathematics, as I said, for here to do that. So what I'm going to do is create a new variable, and I'm going to call it circumference. That's going to be a number. And we'll drag this variable down here, Now I'll do it set it to a default value to begin with of 1 
and it's going to be outside the do together loop. So we want this, this variable set before we uh, do any of the drive command. And in this case, I want to set that to pi times the uh, diameter of the, of the circle, of the wheel. So we have a look at that. So we need to go into the functions. So I'll set that to other. We go 3.14 to represent pi. That's the first step. Next, we want to put in a math expression. So 3.14 times. And again, we'll just put a default value of 1 there for the moment. And now we want to then, instead of 1, we actually want to times it, multiply it by the height of the wheel. It doesn't matter which wheel, they're all the same size. So let's go into front right wheel and look at the functions and we can drag in the height and replace the one by the, the height of the right wheel. So that gives us the idea of the distance around the wheel. So from there we can then work out what how many revolutions we're going to need. So we drag in a new variable, we'll call it num revs and again it's going to be a number and drag this down here and again we'll just put it oops, I actually want it up there I want it outside the do do block we'll just put in a default value of 1 to start off with but what we actually want is the distance so we go down to, to expressions distance uh, divided by the circumference so we go to math divide and expressions circumference so that will give us an idea of how many times we need to rotate the wheel to move the distance so now what we can do is go down and drag this variable to replace 2 by the number of re revolutions we want Keep going there and one more, there we are, and then we can go back over here, now we don't actually need to change any of this, we can still call it as it is, so press play, and we mightn't be able to see the difference there immediately, let's just have a restart, but the point being is that no matter what distance we drive, we should have a fairly accurate number of revolutions of the wheel by these calculations we saw here. Okay, well that's the end of that tutorial.